Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I wanted to share with you a few different systems that I use for putting in my diamond painting trays um, after I've kitted up a, a diamond painting and I'm ready to work on it. These come in especially useful if you have a diamond painting with a lot of confetti, meaning there's a lot of color changing in one specific area. So you're having to swatch out colors or swap out colors quite a bit. Having trays out um, with the different colored drills in there so that you just have to grab the trays really makes things go faster. So this is the first system that I used and this is by Scener Direct. Over here you do have the capability of putting diamond painting drill pens over here but the holes are kind of small unless you use the pink pen that you know comes with all the, the kits. You can't fit a whole lot in here. Some of your custom pens will fit in the larger holes, but if you have one of the chunkier, bigger pens, they won't fit in here either. So I just opted to use it for my trays. And I think there are, what, 16? I think 16 in here. Now, Saner Direct also has a larger one and I just shown this one on my channel. Um, this one has four, one, two, three, four, five, six, 24. This one is a 24 slot. Um, so again, you would just put all of your uh, trays in each one. Now I bought these stoppers from Etsy and I will link uh, her shop down below. Um, it is Victoria with uh, Tori's Diamond Tools. She has 12 different colors of stoppers that you can pick from. I worked with her to also create the stopper. She didn't have the stoppers for the larger white trays, which are my favorite. So I worked with her and we came up with the stoppers that will fit these white large boats also. Um, so now she has these available out on her Etsy shop also. So again, I will link her shop down below and we'll go over um, where I use these large white trays and that's in this. <laughs> Cause again, this is my favorite tray. So, I will link both of these down below. Um, again, on these tray stoppers, both the for the small tray and for the large tray, they have room on the front to put a little sticker and you can put your identifier on there, whether it's just the number, um, you know, one, two, three, whether you put the DMC code on there or maybe the DMC code and the symbol. Um, whatever you go by and then you just take the label off put a new one on um, for when you kit up your next diamond painting okay so that's these two so they're very similar there's quite a few companies that have these out they're nice and heavy duty even though when you first put them together they don't seem like they would be because there's just these like I don't know, rubber O-rings that kind of holds it all together, but they are actually very sturdy and they are wood, so they're quite heavy. They're going to stay put in one place. The only drawback that I have to these two systems is due to the height that I have these next to my diamond painting uh, table, my drafting table. I have a hard time seeing the ones that are down underneath. You know, I can see the top ones fine. Now, if you have it up higher to where you're sitting, maybe you'd be able to see these all relatively easy. But again, it was hard for me to see. So I was looking for a different solution. And that's when I decided to try this. Now this is by Deskmade, totally Tiffany 
um, is the company. Well, I'm not sure which one's the company, but it is made by Totally Tiffany. I did get this off of Amazon. I'll link everything down below in the description. I think you can get this off. You know, Totally Tiffany does have a website. There is this extra large one that I'm going to show you, and then there is a little bit of a smaller one um, also. Um, yeah, uh, this one's 15 inches wide. I believe the smaller one is nine inches wide. So not as many white trays are going to fit in this. I think there's a couple of scrapbook sites that also will carry the smaller one because the smaller one is not on Amazon, but I will link this one. The thing that I liked about this is the shelves are staggered. So what do I mean by that? If you notice, each shelf comes out farther. So I thought, ah, oh, this, hmm, this, this might solve my problem that I had with the other systems. It was very easy to put together. You can pull them out, you know, if you want to, you know, more easily get a hold of your tray. I have not tried this system yet. I did order, now you can get these large white trays from Amazon. They come in sets of three. So they were a little pricey. So what I did is I ordered a bunch from AliExpress. And let's see how many all fit in here. Okay, so four are going to fit across real easily. So if we put four on each tier. Yeah, see this is going to work out so much nicer because the stopper on each level is going to stick out a little bit further than the prior level. So let's put one in each level. And I think I ordered enough for all six levels because there are six tiers in here. So 24 trays will fit. Okay, the bottom one is about the same as the one up above it. And I think that's because these bottom two are um, made for like markers to stick markers in so they're a little bit deeper. Um, but I suppose you could just pull it out, you know, a little. But, oh, this is going to work so much nicer. Can you see how each spout for each level is going to stick out a little bit farther? And then if you put your tree stoppers in each one, and you put your label on each. Now, of course, I had to get the purple ones. Like I said, they come in a dozen different colors. And I think I have this in upside down. Okay. So yeah, each one is gonna stick out a little bit farther. You're gonna be able to read them so much easier. Plus, you know, fit more drills in each tray. Now, maybe you don't need all large trays, even though they are my favorite. I think this is going to be too deep, yeah, unless you leave them out. You know, maybe on the top layer, you could leave them sticking out just a bit. And maybe your top layer, you want to put small trays. Let's see how many small trays fit across on here. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like six small trays fit nicely. And again, you could pull this out, but you'd have to be a little careful, I guess. And, you know, these systems where you keep these trays out, of course, only work if you 
don't have pets or you can keep them in an area where the pets can't get at them because yeah I could see if I had my cats around this area could be disastrous <laughs> um, but yeah I am like I said I haven't tried this system yet I also like the fact you have this storage area up here so I could put my I like using glue dots I could put that up there spare pens um, maybe some cover minders you know whatever you use as far as tools and accessories for your diamond painting you could put up here if you wanted a section off you could even take some foam board and section it off which i might do i have some white foam board probably about this thickness that i could section it off maybe leave one longer to put diamond painting pens in and then two smaller ones i might do yeah possibilities are endless so yeah i just thought i would pop on here and and do a quick video to show you just a couple options of the diamond painting tray organizers i know these wooden ones are um pretty common a lot of people have seen those but i haven't sh seen anybody show using this it's called a pen and ink palace and again this is the extra large pen and ink palace um, i haven't seen anybody use this for their diamond painting trays and yeah with them being staggered like this this is going to work so much better for me anyhow than the ones that are straight up and down so what do you guys think yeah i think this is going to be nice um, so yeah, I'll link everything down below. Like I said, most of it's all from Amazon, except for these white trays are from AliExpress. If I can find the link to that seller, I will link that. And I'll also put a link to Tori's Diamond Tools, which is where I got all these tray stoppers. I know the stoppers for the small boats are real common. You can find them all over. I could not find any stoppers for these large trays though. So that's why I worked with Victoria and uh, yeah, she sent me a whole bunch of prototypes and stuff and we went back and forth and back and forth and I think we finally got it. So they are available now. All right, I guess I will leave it there. I'm going to try this system upstairs. I think with my next diamond painting, I'm still working on my big Randall Spangler up there. So um, try this one next time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.